Hi everyone, welcome to Fan Mail Friday, my favorite time of the week. And this week is no exception because it's full of Irish blessings. And not one, not two, I mean, I think there are six. Uh, I, I lost count. My goodness, you guys are so prolific with your Irish greetings that let, let's start with sending the luck from Belinda, an adorable card with those, um, isn't that cute? Even happy St. Patrick's Day. And she sent me these. Now, I just want to tell you, Belinda, you must have sent me, you sent me two of these before. Um, they're Kleenex covers and I put one in my um, bathroom that actually doubles as a green room for trying to get yourself ready for all this television and I had run out and I thought who sent those and I'm so excited that you sent me more you just have no idea I those it's the perfect thing and the perfect decoration for that room Okay, now this is from Antoinette, and it is uh, full of Easter greetings and spring blessings and a bunny rabbit. So cute. And Antoinette, I just want to say that I'm thinking about you in your craft room, and it, it must be hard to be there without your husband, but I just know that all of us that we that love to craft and to that that put together this blog post and all the people you know just associated with you and me talking right now we're all pulling for you we just want you to know that you are you know you're not alone and what's so great is that crafting does bring us all together and thank you for sending this and thank you for sharing your story with me and so Speaking of stories, we'll just start with our friend Michelle and see Michelle's beautiful card and I can see your smiling face as you as you give this to me, Michelle. Um, she says she's very lucky to have found us and the products and the Griffinite community and it's helped keep her sane and she loves finishing school and friends who love Anna Griffin and all of her Zoom meetings and that's really fun um, to send me. This is part of her uh, uh, Anna Gr AG National Craft Month Challenge, and there it is right here um, on this table. And Michelle, big shout out to you. Now, we got to hear from our friend Anita this week, and just look at the bowling card. Look at that, bowling, gutter, league, strike. Thank you. And there's a turkey and nice shoes and a 710 split and all that fancy lingo because... Our friend Anita did get her bowling set. And if you're watching every week, you know, you know that um, we didn't get to hear from you uh, or, or from Anita for a little while there. And I got concerned and sent her a little bowling set for her backyard. And mystery solved. She, I actually said it last Friday on Fan Mail Friday. And she is so cute that um, she said, Thank you very much, but the day she got the bowling pins, there was nothing on the package to let me know who sent them so I could thank them. And I got excited to think that someone would take the time to do the special thing for me and no address on the package. Well, that's because <laughs> I knew it the minute it left because our friends at Amazon did not let me um, make it a gift option. And so you can't send it back, Anita. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't tell you it was from me. So um, sorry about that. But I'm so glad that you canvassed all your friends to see who it was. <laughs> okay. It was Sarah and I. And uh, we wanted to make sure that you had something to pass the time. So I'm glad that you are back with us. And uh, big hug to you, Anita. Now, this beautiful card came from Janet, and Janet is, uh, has been one of our winners in our National Craft Month Challenge. She writes so much. She, I love this because it's a never-ending letter. It starts on 3-2 and continues on 3-4. <laughs> And Janet, I just want to hug you too. Uh, this is so adorable. So she's talking about um, how she's planned for her challenge, and she's um, she's doing all kinds of things. But the the this is the first card she made for St. Patrick's Day because it's what's amazing is that people would ask her if she was Irish, and she'd say not not a drop. And then she did the DNA test and found out she's more Irish than anything else. 33% is the, 
Isn't that something? Well, you are lucky, and you, um, you are so, so generous to write all that to me, so thank you so much. All right, next card is from Marsha, and just look, Marsha has been doing something she calls mixing the old with the new, and boy, Blythe is beautiful in the pop-out, the intricate pop-out, and she is, um, what's, what's really poignant about your note, Marsha, is the fact that your spring bulbs are up, your hyacinths are up, and so are mine. Uh, they are pink, and um, she is waiting for her peonies to bloom, so isn't that fun? Oh, it's like we're pen pals. We're all pen pals. Now, I have a neat letter. Uh, let, me, let me say this correctly. So, um, uh, all right, so I thought her name was Eden, until she, I wrote, till she wrote how to pronounce it, which is, uh, Adin, 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 E D Y N, Adin. Okay, now here's her card. Ready? Beautiful little easel card. Irish blessing. Oh, I've, I've, I meant to go back to the blessings so that we could count them. But beautiful, and even in green ink is so much fun. And so um, Adine is not on social media, and she wants to give a shout out to Yukari and Richard and Lenita, Annabelle the Builder, and Adina. And so Adina <laughs> lives nearby, and you guys, we have to connect you somehow uh, together so that you're, you're 25 miles from each other. And uh, isn't that fun? You want to know each other. So that's so great. So Adine lives in a 19th century antique-filled uh, house and teaches history and has just made all kinds of things. And one of the things that's really interesting at the bottom, she says, I don't use your products exclusively, so I'm can't be a Griffinite. Now that's not true. That's really fun. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, anybody that enjoys working with anything that we make, we call a Griffinite and you're self-proclaimed. Um, there's, there are no requirements. So, um, Adine, nice to meet you. Okay. And now Elizabeth, uh, look at this, Elizabeth Prescott used, got out her cricket and her ballroom slider dies and made the little Mr. Cottontail that's going to be in the, um, in the ballroom and in the window. And she, let me show you, where did I put it? I have a sweet little note from her. Oh, there it is. It's stuck to something. Here we go. All right. Shake your bunny tail, everybody. <laughs> this is from Susan, and it says, so made with the ballroom die and the cricket, and I knew um, to expand the ballroom die. It's so cute. It's really cute. Okay, now this is, this is from Elizabeth, and uh, look at that. So pretty, gorgeous, uh, lucky 3D concentric dies. Uh, Lisa, another Irish blessing. Uh, that's funny. So Elizabeth on the envelope, I know I know you as Lisa, so that's why it just threw me. So sorry to get everybody's names confused today, but it's okay. We'll get it right, and we'll post your your pretty cards so everybody can see them. Now this one is from our friend Pat, and what's so pretty about her making her china cabinet cards is that she was inspired with the by the little medallion on the inside to make a pair of earrings. Isn't that so pretty? Ah, oh, and I th and they're light, and they're they're nice, and you know they'll just hang out in my hair. <laughs> I'll have to put them on for you, Pat, and show you uh, exactly what those do. What a clever idea. All right, now next I have a card from our friend Diane, and I'll just show you. So beautiful card, belly band. There's a letter on the inside, ready? Okay, pop out, and there's a pot of gold. So sweet. Oh, okay, and the, here's the blessing. And then there's a beautiful letter that is uh, many pages that Diane writes to me. And uh, she's so sweet because she writes about the fact that letters 
you know, before the digital age that we live in now, letters were so important. And that was how you got to know about people and you how, how you became close and how um, you updated each other on family and things that were happening and letters were the source of communication. So she's using that with me, for me, with me, and together uh, we are getting to know each other and I love it because letters are so important. And uh, thank you for that, big hug to you. And your sweet husband, Patrick, for his own St. Patrick's Day, made me a card. <laughs> yes, look, uh, and wrote a lot in it. And so I'll read you. He, he made me a limerick. A limerick for your thoughts. There was once a southern lass with card designs always first class. She offered them to all by a video big and small. And to that, let's all raise a glass. <laughs> Cheers, Patrick. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, thank you. I, no one's ever written me a limerick. Uh, I think that's just adorable. Okay, now last but not least, we have a really beautiful card from, from Susan. And for those of you that are watching fan mail, you would know that Diane and Susan uh, both really love finishing school. And this is so beautiful. This was posted, she, Susan posted this in finishing school along with these amazing projects. And when I looked at this, in the picture in finishing school, I thought, okay, that is a beautiful card. Let me show you how thick it is. Look at all that cutting and how perfectly all those little foam adhesives are lined up. I, I think w when I look at this, Susan, I think of you, Kari Duke, and you would really enjoy each other because you think alike. And, uh, and then when I saw these other two cards, these triple easel cards, I was like, wow, how'd she do that? And so did everybody else. And look, she sent them to me. I'll just turn this. This needs to be on a little turntable. Ah, oh, so inspiring. So for any of you that are watching fan mail and you don't, are not, not members of our finishing school, you're really missing out on some incredible talent. And that Susan, mm, amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you for doing that. I'm going to save those for our live event coming up next week on Wednesday so that I can show off your Easter projects and your China cabinets. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for the blessings. I feel blessed. I hope you do. And um, a big shout out to everyone uh, this week that sent something in. And we look forward to seeing you again next Friday. Bye for now.